This one's gonna be on NetHogs is the command line way to monitor your bandwidth. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you know determine which uh, connection you have. So if you're using Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you have to know the name of that. And to figure that out, you have to uh, IF config. This is the old school way, right? IF config. And right here, you now this is my loopback, which is not not what we're gonna use. Uh, so this one is my Ethernet. Sometimes it has a different name. Mine says uh, ENP. Yours might say Etho Zero. And if you have Wi-Fi, I think it's usually WLing Zero or something like that. So you gotta know the names of this, right? So this IF config is the old school way. If you're using like a newer system, they might have uh, uh, the IP command install. So just IP uh, space and an A. So it's pretty much the same thing. See, you still have this and the loopback, right? Uh, so that's why I'm going to use this one for my Ethernet. And to use uh, NetHogs, you actually have to use it as root. So you have to um, sudo NetHogs, right? And then you have to, um, you know, paste in the uh, connection that you want to monitor or you want to look at. So this one is our Ethernet. And then you type in your password. And there you go. You have your... Um, your application so you ever use like a uh, top or H top they have you know the applications and then uh, this one it tells you what it uh, is receiving here uh, so let's say for example it's no, it doesn't do anything much right now but let's say if, if I was gonna download some stuff from chromium uh, it will actually increase this right so let's download something here so it's downloading and you can see now it goes up look at that uh, if you push M, it will actually change. Right now it's in, uh, what is that, kilobytes per seconds. If you hit M, it will just go KB and hit M again. This one goes to bytes and you hit M again, it will go to megabytes. So there you go. That's what uh, it shows you there. Uh, that's pretty much it for the program, you know. And if you want to exit, you hit Q and then you exit. Uh, I'm not sure why they require you to to type in a pseudo password to run this program but you mean I mean you can always change it to um, allow it to you know normal users if you want uh, I did a video on that if you want to do that for the commands it's up to you but that's pretty much it for the programs not really that difficult uh, to use uh, that'd be it for this one